But I think that the feeling is that, like, if I don't go and make the friend, then there isn't really like any potential in the future. But I, I am very aware that that could be, yeah, it can easily just be giving out free advice. So like, well, that's it. And, and and if if it's going to be a friend thing, like the thing about getting it in the friend, you know, staying in the friend zone, it's very hard to move out of the friend zone if you're giving them free advice while you're doing the friend thing. Yeah. So I think there needs to be, in your head at least, a clear demarcation. You may have already stepped over the line. I don't know, but there needs to be a clear demarcation between. Tell me about the project. I'm happy to understand about what, what you're thinking and let's have a chat and find out if I'm suitable for it and, and if you're suitable for me and let's see if we can get on and we could work together. There's all that friend stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But if you muddy the water by giving him advice, mm -hmm. you, that's when it becomes difficult because then he's taking the advice and so what you need to do is keep a clear separation between advice and understanding about the project and meeting, meet and greet and doing the friend stuff and having lunch or having drinks. But don't cross into the line of giving advice for it because now you're muddying up. It's going to be very hard for you to get out of the... The, the way to get out of the friend zone is, is not to... Well, it's almost like having sex, really. You know... <laughs> I'm not going to have sex with you until, you know, we're in a relationship, yeah. right? To keep it really simple. And so I need, you know, I need to know where I, you know, so I, I, I'm happy to have a drink with you, happy to talk, da -da -da -da, but there's none of that until we have an official arrangement. Yeah. yeah. So, so any, any meet and greet, the bottom line is when any meet and greet, there's no advice, mm -hmm. right? If he wants to, to do advice, then he needs to hire you to go away and do some research, you know, and you'll say, right, that's a good question. I would need to go and research that, you know, and that happens in the next phase where I do my, you know, effect, do my LCC. And the people who have difficulty are the ones who start giving advice away in the early, you know, in the early stages of meeting, because there's no clear demarcation for the client. There's no reason for the client to hire someone who's giving them free advice, yeah. right? But, it, and, and it's a bit, so you're being very professional. It's like, you know, I can meet and greet you. You know, we can have a cop, you know, we can, we can meet and greet once. I can find out about the project. And then from that, there should be a number of questions that he wants to know about. Uh, and, and, and that's what you offer to go and research. Even if you know it in the, off the top of your head, you know, you can speak hypothetically, you can speak big picture about in general, it could be A, B or C, it's probably C, but, you know, I'm not going to, I can't say until I've done the research, if you would, you know, and you've got other questions, yeah, they're great questions too. Um, I can, all these questions that you're asking and more is what I would do when I, in my next step, you know, if you engage me for X $2,000 or pounds, <laughs> you know, I can go and research that stuff for you and provide all those answers and, and more answers that you need to get you to hear. Yeah. And, yeah. and the, the good thing about having something like that is if they're serious about you and if they're serious about the project, paying a few thousand pounds is no big deal to, to move the project forward. This project is worth moving forward. So a few thousand pounds to go and do some research, analysis, um, investigation is no big deal. But if you find he hedges and is doesn't want to pay a couple of thousand pounds or whatever you want to charge to go and do that research, that you know, and he that this is expert opinion you're providing him. This is your career. Mm -hmm. If he didn't want to pay that, then that's good to know early. Because there's a problem. Anyone who's serious about you and serious about the project has no has no issue paying you know a couple of thousand pounds to go and have the the, the architect that they're going that they could well intend using go and do some investigation for them. You know, it's what you'd you'd pay an architect, an accountant, or a lawyer, or a uh, a marketer 
to go and do some of the stuff that they do. Um, you don't go to a lawyer and say, I'd like to meet you for lunch and pick your brains for an hour about my um, tax problem and expect the lawyer to sit down over lunch for an hour with you and buy you lunch while you pick her brains and then at the end you go, I'll think about it. That, that would never happen. Yeah, it wouldn't right? actually and be used for most of the time. You actually have to pay someone to actually get the work done, otherwise you forget about that advice. Exactly. And it's the same with an architect. 